Okay, it's PTAC time. Uh, but before, look at this. Is this not cool? This thing is a old uh, player. I don't know how old this thing is, but look at that. Thing still runs and everything. It's 33, 45, 78. Wow, pretty neat. Anyway, kind of cool. In the wall. Nice. Okay, so let's do the GE first. Uh, as you can see here, we've got the cover off. <clears throat> you can see the little wiring diagram that kind of gives you an idea of what each wire color is doing. Uh, for example, your black is common, uh, your uh, blue is your reversing valve, and so forth and so on. So anyway, so right now, let's see what it's doing. We're going to display it. So it's at 66 degrees, cool, high fan. So if we want to make this thing run off a wall thermostat, which you can see our wires here, uh, first thing you're going to do to this thing is uh, you're going to put it in the off mode. So we're going to go ahead and put it in the off mode. As you can see, it shut down. And then let me see if I can get this thing down there and show you. <clears throat> so there's an, os an aux switch. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little button. So you got to hit that. Once you do, then you're in the AU mode, which is the aux mode. So now you're going to go ahead and hit the mode button until you get to the number six. And you see where it says six U. You want to turn that U upside down which dictates that the wall thermostat uh, is going to um, operate the unit. So all you do is you hit the plus button. Once you do that, now you've got the six and the upside down U. <clears throat> that is the uh, wall thermostat mode. The flashlight just started dying, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, get this done. But anyway, so... Okay, so we've got it in six unit. Now, what you're going to have to do after this is come right down in here again. I don't know if you can see it, but you got to press that aux button again. Once you do, it comes right up. And what it says is, as you can see, use wall thermostat. So that takes care of the GE. That's how you get the GE over to the wall thermostat. Now, of course, if you wanted to take it back just to regular mode again then what you're going to have to do is is come back down underneath here again hit the aux switch which we will and you see your au numbers come up i mean letters i'm sorry and then you've got to go to mode again come over to the number six and then reverse that u which i call it the u i don't it's probably something but anyway once you get that reversed now that six and then the letter U there is going to demonstrate that the unit's going to work in standalone. In other words, the thermostat here wire is not going to operate it, which by the way, this plug right here does plug in up inside there and a little bitty wiring harness. So anyway, that's the way that that works. So once you've got that, then at U, you would come back in here hit the aux switch again now what it does is it allows you to cycle in mode so we'll go heat okay cool high speed unit comes on blah 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 so really simple so uh, we're gonna go ahead and make this go for a wall thermostat so we're gonna hit mode we're gonna let it go off and then we're gonna go in here and hit the aux switch and we're going to hit mode again, and we're going to come up to six. We're going to turn that U upside down. And then we're going to hit the aux switch again to set our remote wall. And there it is. So now the wall thermostat here is going to run this PTAC unit. Hope that helps. Uh, we're going to move on to the a mana here in just a minute so let's get over there to that one
Okay, so uh, now we've got to our Amana here, uh, PTAC, and we're going to change it over, of course, to a wall thermostat also, uh, which I'll give you a close-up in just a second of these wires, uh, where they're wired in at. But anyway, so when you come to it, and of course this one's running right now, you've just got to hold your fingers simultaneously on the uh, plus and the minus terminals. Just hold down. You hold it down, and two clicks to the off then you hit the heat button then you scroll down to L5 as you can see uh, let me come back down there sorry uh oh L5 and then press off then what's going to be displayed is the word on which means that now the thermostat the wired thermostat is going to control this PTAC unit. Again, on the other side of it, if you wanted to take it back to the local mode, you will do the same. You'll just press these down simultaneously. Off button twice. Heat mode. Down to zero. And off. Now you are back into the local mode. So if I was to press cool, it will come back on in the cooling mode. So anyway, so what I want to do, of course, is change it back to the wall thermostat. So I'm going to hold down simultaneously two quick hits of the off button, scroll down to L5 and off. Now our therm wall thermostat, wired thermostat, is controlling this unit. So... Hope that helps, and uh, hopefully if you run across this, you can use these uh, little videos for the GE and also for the Amana here to be able to uh, get you out of a pinch if you need to uh, put a wall thermostat on or else just run it in the remote uh, uh, mode also. So, Okay, have a good one. Appreciate it.